goodness. Okay, here we are. Check out my new phone case. I feel like it's very... I don't even know. Hi guys, it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. Sorry if the lighting looks weird. I'm filming at a weird time. Today I am doing a video, um, DIYing a face mask. I am not really one to DIY all the time because usually they're not that great when I do DIYs, it just turn out weird for me. But um, with face masks, I make those all the time. I use just ingredients I find around my house. I don't know, I, I just look for random fruits and whatnot that I can use on my face. And a lot of people just don't really believe that those things actually work, but I feel like they do and I feel like they help make my skin softer and healthier. So I don't know where you guys live, but where I live right now, it's snowing. You see that? Okay, there we go. So um, where I live, it's snowing and it's cold and it sucks. I don't live in LA where it's 70 degrees every day. Wish I did. Anywho, so I wanted to film a face mask, some sort of DIY facial mask because my skin gets super dry and dull and horrible in the winter pretty much. It just, you know, the winter dries your skin out. So I made a face mask with orange, banana, coconut oil, and oats. So yeah, I just thought it would be a really just easy, nice little way to kind of brighten up your winter because it's really dull here and so is my skin. This is just a nice mask if you're snowed in, maybe you have cabin fever and you want to like do something different, you can try this mask out. Now I'm rambling, but anyways, we're just going to get started. So step one is to obviously get all your ingredients together. So you're going to need two bowls or just one, I'll tell you why in a second. You're also going to need a banana, coconut oil, orange, and oats, which are optional. Obviously, we're just going to put all these ingredients together. I start off by putting the banana in the big bowl and mashing it up with a fork just because I find that's the easiest way to do it. The more mashed up it is, the easier it's going to stick onto your face because all the clumps make it kind of drag off, especially because it's already going to be slippery because the formula itself is very slimy. So next, I like to heat up the coconut oil. Some of you may have coconut oil already that just comes in like liquid form but the one I have is like solid and you scoop it out so I just scoop probably about half a teaspoon to maybe a full teaspoon if you want to get crazy and I just heat that up so it melts down and then I pour it into the banana so then it makes this little slimy mixture so I just keep mashing it up with a fork mixing that together just so everything gets combined and whatnot the banana and the coconut oil both help to hydrate your skin and that's a plus because when it's cold and it's winter your skin's dry and crusty no one wants that. Then I just go in with a little bit of orange juice. I think I used a tangelo or something in this because I didn't have like a real orange. It's the same thing. So just squeeze in some orange juice from one orange or tangelo or clementine, I don't know. Keep mixing, keep getting all that good stuff together. The orange is actually going to help with the vitamin C just because um, vitamin C is said to keep your skin firm, helping with the aging process. <laughs> it also keeps it moisturized too. and. Um, honestly, I really do think that this mask does moisturize my face and um, keep it nice and soft. It felt so soft afterwards. I don't know if you're really going to be able to see a difference, but personally, I felt like it was soft. Also, disclaimer, if you experience itching, a rash, or any other side effects when using this mask, don't put it on your face because I know that some people just have really sensitive skin and if they put something on their face, it starts tingling and it hurts or itches or whatever, just take it off right away. Don't think that it's supposed to do that because it's not. It's literally going to sit on your face and feel cold and refreshing. That's what it should feel like. I just mash it up for pretty much forever. <laughs> and I just like getting all the banana clumps out. It's really hard to get out the clumps, but I mean, it's whatever. Keep in mind this mask is going to be really slimy because of all the liquids we're using. So I just threw in some oats in there. Honestly, I just wanted it to bind the ingredients together a bit more, but I'm not really sure if there's actually some benefits to putting oats on your skin. This is good. I have this problem. Um, it has anti-inflammatory properties, so it's perfect for most skin types, even the most sensitive skin. Oh, also, there's another thing actually. I do use oats sometimes if I want to exfoliate a little bit, and I think that helps with um, exfoliating your face gently, especially if you have sensitive skin, because when I use like sugar, I just feel like it's so harsh rubbing against my skin, and I don't, I just don't like it. So if you want to exfoliate a little bit, then you can use oats for, for a more softer exfoliation. After mixing that together, you put it on your skin. I actually used a little brush to put it on my skin just so I wouldn't have to get my hands too dirty, um, but make sure that you do do this over a sink because it will drip off your face because it's a very slimy mask. Now, if you don't want it to really 
like drip off, I would recommend putting mostly the liquid part um, of the mask and then I guess later you could use more like the oats, kind of exfoliate a little bit and rub it in before, like right before you wash it off. Because for me, I don't have a problem sitting there and my face like feeling all gross with all that weird stuff on it. <laughs> I was actually messing around with the Snapchat filters before um, when I was waiting for the mask to do its thing. Yeah, I don't know. But I just leave the mask on for 10 to 15 minutes. Honestly, it's so slippery and gross that you're not going to want to leave it on that long because you feel like it's going to get everywhere. So just be careful with that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So you wash it off and hopefully your skin is feeling brighter, happier, softer, smoother, more moisturized, less dry. I mean, this mask, you could eat it. Also, you could put honey in it too, which helps moisturize your skin as well. Um, I didn't put honey in mine, but... It's definitely an option. If you don't have coconut oil, you could probably use some honey in there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this mask. Let me know if you try it out or if you want me to make up some more little DIY masks because I do these all the time randomly because I like buying them from like Lush and Sephora and stuff, but it's more fun where you actually know exactly what you're putting into it so you can get things just from like the grocery store or around your house and then making it yourself and throwing it together. It's a lot of fun. Let me know if you want more of these. So give this video a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with all my videos for the new year. So I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Stay warm in the cold or stay cool if you live in LA with 70 degree weather. I'm really jealous. Okay, bye! <laughs>